I shall follow your orders.
Officers, it's good to see you again. You too, managers. Looks like a good attendance. The place is really hopping. Thanks to everyone on 6th Street. They not only signed up for the seminar, they also helped spread the word to other districts. I heard you'll be on stage with the inspector to answer questions from citizens, Juren. Belle has been itching to ask you some. Uh, uh, come on. Go easy on me. <laughs> you don't know, do you? Zhu Yuan gets super nervous in situations like this. She drank three pots of tea just to avoid nervously coughing up there. Sorry to interrupt, but I have something to report. We've analyzed and located the exact coordinates of the places Maroon previously identified inside the hollow. Please take a look at this. Thanks. I was also just informed that Inspector Bringer is on his way, and the media is waiting to get some pictures. Looks like we should go meet him. We'll investigate these locations in a couple of days. Hmm? Wait, there's something funny about these coordinates. Something funny? What are you seeing? Is something wrong? Sorry, you two, but something is weird about this report. I need to talk to Ju Yuan for a moment, if you'll excuse us. You can go on in. Maroon. He's the guy who was using the EMP emitter, right? I've got a bad feeling about this. Let's try to get close enough to hear what they're saying. Those coordinates are the spots Maroon's gang scouted some time ago, right? What do you think is off about them? You remember the monster they found in that square a while back? Of course. The remains are scheduled to be recovered this afternoon. But wait, what about it? You think these two cases are connected? Perhaps. I just realized every location Maroon pointed out lies on the route the evidence carrier is taking. What? The EMP emitter Maroon used had been modified to bypass vehicle security systems. When used correctly, it can unlock car doors without damaging the electronics. Maroon said his crew procured specialized containers for preserving etheric material. We assume they were targeting vehicles transporting valuable ether resources for large companies. But here's the thing. Public security's evidence carrier is the same kind of vehicle. Meaning? The evidence carrier could be in danger. Where is it now? Let me see. Right here. There's a slight delay in the surveillance signal, but the carrier seems headed towards its destination right now. But according to the record, it stopped for about 10 minutes somewhere in the hollow just 15 minutes ago. 10 minutes might not seem like much, but if someone's lying in wait with an EMP emitter, it'd be enough for them to snatch the evidence. We need to report this right now. I'll call it in. Wait a second. The carrier might have paused in the hollow due to changes in hollow structure or some other reason. We don't have solid proof yet of an attack on the carrier. Even if we report our suspicions, they won't immediately send someone. They'd follow protocol and do a remote analysis first. You're right. And if they do that, it could already be too late. Not only that, I'm worried about something else. The evidence recovery schedule was only decided recently. And the route inside the hollow is top secret. But according to Maroon, his gang had been scouting those locations for a while now. Meaning, there might be a mole in public security. Exactly. If we report our suspicions now, we might tip them off. I'd rather head into the hollow myself. That's a huge risk. You know that's against policy. They could take action against us. It's urgent. We don't have time to argue. We spent a long time preparing for today's seminar. With the media gathered like this, it's a rare opportunity for you to showcase your knowledge in front of the inspector. You should stay here. We're partners. You can trust me to bring back the evidence safe and sound. You have my word. Inspector Bringer's car has arrived. 
the inspector is already here. We don't have time to hesitate. I need to get going. I'll leave the seminar to you. Worshipping an undeserving deity is sycophancy. Failure to act when action is needed shows a lack of courage. Huh? You said it yourself. An officer needs to be sure they're doing the right thing. I became an officer because of Inspector Bringer, but not for praise or his approval. I want to do for others what he did for me back then. I want to be someone who protects people. So you're going to... I'm going with you. That monster in the hollow is anything but ordinary. We have to protect the evidence. And besides, if the inspector really is the same as he was back then, I'm sure he'll support our choice. We can't just sit back and do nothing while the remains are in danger. Just like last time, we should try and help them any way we can. I shall follow your your wishes, my command. Oh, what a bother. Judging by our predictions, they probably have the evidence by now. Any ideas on how we're gonna get it back? Here's what I'm thinking. To avoid raising suspicion, the suspects probably didn't damage the carrier's electronic systems. If that is indeed the case, we can check its driving record to pinpoint where exactly it stopped within the hollow. They're bound to have left some traces behind. The remains are bulky, so they can't move very quickly. Therefore, we can figure out where they went. Makes sense. Let's find the evidence carrier and see if our suspicions are right. I've picked up the carrier's signal. Let's go. Zhu Yuan and Qing Yi are heading out to locate the evidence carrier. Barry, do you know where the carrier is? Affirmative. Attempting to locate the evidence carrier. We need to help them reach the evidence carrier quickly. I'm counting on you to find a route. The evidence carrier signal is coming from over there. Ugh, the mobile device here seems unusable. Let me try adjusting the direction. Ugh, it's too heavy. Val, something is blocking their way. Master, the firing direction of the ejector nearby can be adjusted. All right. Let's help them find a shortcut to save time. These switches can be used repeatedly. Think carefully about the direction. Huh? Did the device just move by itself? The device works now! Let's move. Something doesn't feel right. Let's follow them. Master, high ether activity has been detected along the path to the evidence carrier's location. Okay, boss. 
condition. It looks fine on the outside. No signs of damage or being tampered with. Let's check inside. <sighs> I'm doing this to protect the evidence, but messing with the carrier without permission will definitely require writing up a report and probably a pay cut, too. Well, let's forget all that for now. Ching Yi, help me unlock it. Huh? The evidence crate is still here, and the seal is untouched. Comparing the seal with the one in the photo, the angle is off by approximately three degrees, and the etheric matter feels totally different from what I sensed at the square. So, they really did get a hold of the evidence. They were gonna trick Hand by not leaving any trace. They went through all this trouble to make it seem like it was still there. That monster must be hiding some serious secrets. Yuan, watch out! for the evidence. multiple enemies in their current path heading toward them. Barry, is there a way to divert the approaching enemies? Master, I regret to inform you there are no electronic devices or controllable machines in the area. It's too late. Look at the map. They're trapped. It's a dead end. Watch out, Ching Yi! There's an ambush here, too! Get them! Coming through! They're closing in on us! Be careful! We've been surrounded. Stay calm. They sure have some firepower. How many members did they deploy to deal with us? Yeah. 
Avoid it. to get him off our tail. Let's face him head on. We'll run out of ammo if this continues. Going all out! This isn't good. Julia and Ching Yi are stuck in a building and surrounded by enemies. We have to get them out. Do something, Fairy. Master, I've detected several unstable spatial fissures near the officer's location. Such spatial rifts are challenging to label in standard carrot data, but if utilized, they could help the target evacuate from their current location. Fairy may be able to locate the spatial rifts, but how do we tell Zhu Yuan and Qing Yi where to go? I can safely tap into the officer's intercom within the hollow, second assistant. But if we connect to their intercom, won't we be exposed? If it doesn't expose our identity, I think it's worth the risk to save lives. Question. Is the current objective to assist the two officers in leaving the current area, or rescue the two officers who are trapped? Aren't those the same thing? Negative. Remote communication has an 87.1% chance of successfully guiding the officers out of their current area. But due to the significant disparity in forces and the limitations of long-range communication, I cannot swiftly assess the target's surrounding environment. The risk of failure will rapidly mount. So you're saying, to keep them safe, Bell has to personally guide them as a proxy? Affirmative. However, appearing in front of public security may bring major risks. This is so irritating. If they weren't public security officers, we wouldn't even hesitate. You remember what Qing Yi said. Failure to act when action is needed shows a lack of courage. Zhu Yuan and Qing Yi are good people. Despite the risks, I'd regret it for the rest of my life if I chose to stand idly by now. Bell. And, on the bright side, if we work together, we might be able to recover the stolen remains. Affirmative. Master's assumption is reasonable. Well then, let's go save them. This isn't good. They've totally surrounded us. Unless we can somehow distract them, we're stuck here. If we can't think of a way out, I'll go distract them so you have a chance to get away. What? What are you talking about? It was me who insisted we investigate inside the hollow. He wouldn't even be in danger right now if it weren't for me. Besides, I'm not human. I'll be fine even if my body gets destroyed. But you don't have that luxury. Hold up. I'm your captain, right? If someone has to take responsibility for this mess, it should be me. Besides, your physical abilities are much better than mine. If one of us has to make a run for it, you'd have a much better chance at surviving. Now's not the time to argue. Exactly. Now's not the time to argue. Who's there? Wait, it's coming from the intercom. Someone hacked into our encrypted frequency. B but how? Instead of arguing about who should be the bait, how about I offer a solution that works for you both? Who are you? Why should we trust you? I can't convince you to trust me. I'm a proxy, not exactly someone who should normally be talking with you. But while I may be a proxy, I have a conscience. I can't turn a blind eye while you're in danger. A proxy? All right, so what's the plan? I'll create an opportunity for you. Now, follow my instructions. But what about the enemy? Leave that to me. <laughs> now, go! They're getting away! What now? Straight ahead. Jump into the fissure. The fissure? <laughs> Another fissure straight ahead. They're closing in. 
They'll catch us at this rate. I have a plan. It might be risky, but I'm sure you can do it. Hero, now that you've saved us, do you plan on making an appearance? All right. We can finally talk. You're a Bang Boo from Bellabog. Wait, no. There's no way an ordinary Bang Boo would be as capable as you, let alone hack into our intercom. So, who are you exactly? Chingyi, have you heard the rumors about a legendary proxy who doesn't enter the hollows themselves, but manages real-time communication from the outside? Faithin. That's me. I'm Faithin. So you were already watching us when we received the report from Bellabog. Yeah, I was helping Bellabog Industries retrieve something lost, but I ended up running into that monster deep in the hollow. As you've already guessed, I think there's something unusual about that monster, too. There's some kind of conspiracy behind it, and it's connected to what I've been chasing. In other words, you're helping us so Hand gets the evidence and can uncover the truth about the monster. Exactly. And it's still not too late to get the evidence back. According to page 173 of the Public Security Officer's Manual, in urgent situations, officers have the right to recruit assistants without verifying their identities. So you're suggesting... We share a common goal. Let's work together and get that evidence back. Deal. Now's not the time for more questions. We accept your assistance, Faithen. But as you've seen, the enemy is well prepared and has the advantage in numbers. Don't worry, leave it to me. Since we lack the manpower, we'll use the hollow against them. That's my specialty. We've arrived at the evidence carrier area.